we have um, some uh, of our trucks, cars, and helicopters that we have found in the beach sand. Sitting next to it is the Equinox 800. Okay, so this is Brittany and this is Lobster Claws Recovery Services. We are doing a nail board at the moment, looking at separation on the six inch Equinox uh, coin shooter coil. Again, six inches. Um, my preference is, is that I buy each of the coils with their own shafts. Once they're mounted to the shaft, they stay mounted. As you can see, um, we've got a brace on it and we can talk about where we get those. They are gonna be uh, in the link shown below. I've bought three of them from the gentleman on eBay and we really like those. Uh, frankly, on the six inch coil, it's more decoration than anything else, but I do still believe that um, it does add some rigidity to it. Um, there are no tie wraps on this particular one, um, though the bigger ones, the 11 and the 15, both have tie wraps that go around the bottom side uh, and will definitely help. Uh, you definitely need to keep the thumb screw, uh, you know, somewhat loose and you need to have enough slack in the cable. I don't have it Velcroed down because I just don't at the moment, but I normally do an operation. So for those of you that point that out, keep that in mind. Notice that, notice that the uh, logo is pointed up and that's how it's supposed to be mounted. All right. That's probably obvious to most people. So let's just get going. We're going to pull the camera back so that the camera, which is an aluminum frame, does not does not get caught up. Sorry for the sirens. I just can't, I can't control everything. I try, believe me. Okay, so we are in part two. Now, as you can see, it's ringing a 17. It's going anywhere between 17 and 18, but it's very steady. Okay, when I'm right over that quarter, it stays at 18. Now, we all know a quarter is not 18, but as I've been told, VDI numbers. Uh, all right, let's back up, shall we? For those of you that didn't hear it over the siren. Okay, this is a six inch coil and the VDI numbers that you are seeing do not correspond to necessarily what you're gonna see. See, it's a 16 right now. What you're gonna see on an 11 or 15 inch coil. So I would get the VDI numbers as a value, whether it's 29 to 31 or whatever you got in your head for a quarter out of your mind because the bottom line is you should be digging everything um, that's not negative uh, at least when you're on the beach uh, my advice my advice would be to dig let's see can I get my face on here well I don't know I guess so my advice would be to uh, dig everything that is negative one, not zero, and then one to about 38. Um, we're gonna talk about iron wraparound another time. It's not really addressed anywhere for the Mine Lab Equinox. Uh, I've had a white V3i before, uh, which was a highly, highly um, configurable detector. Some more similar to a CTX 3030, or even uh, something like a, an XP deuce in terms of the granularity of your controllability. Um, okay, so um, this topic brought up, was brought up under the V3i from Whites a few years ago, and it's in their manual, you can look for it. And they'll t explain to you what iron wraparound is, but large iron will wrap around 
and VDI numbers, when you look at them, they are actually wrapped around, um, for a metaphor, they're wrapped around a, a drinking glass. So around the back side, you have 37, 38, 39, 40, negative 9, negative 8, negative 7, da 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 da. Okay, so as you can see, negative 9 and, thir and 40 and 39, they are like, they're sequential. And large iron can actually show up as large positive values above the range where silver would be, above where you would find dollar or something like that. Okay, so I used to be in the, a numismatic person and into coins and all that, but now it's just metal detecting. Anyway, okay, so let's get into it. One more time. 17, 18, 19. Okay, there's the... But you notice it is completely surrounded. Okay, now let's make it harder. Now I've seen this test done for the White's TBI. Now, you are getting iron, but I'm getting 18, 17, 22. I got 28. I would dig this. I wouldn't think twice. So any of you got it in your heads that you can't dig iron infested beaches, think again. But whatever VDI value you think you should be digging for whatever it is you want to be digging up, I would dismiss that now. Because different size coils can have different size VDI numbers as I'm seeing. Um, there's going to be more testing with this coil. We're going to take it in the field and we're going to do all of that. But that is the story. So let's let's set up the board to do other deviations of this. Quarter does ring up as 28, 30. So it was a quarter, but it wasn't giving you 28 and 30. So the point is like, point is that just because you don't see 20, 28, 29, 30, whatever, don't assume it's not a quarter. Don't assume that 22 is a penny. For all you know, it's a women's gold ring. Okay, remember gold is cut with alloys that can vary the VDI number from one up to about 25 or so. Okay, so we got 29, 30. Sounds the way it's supposed to sound. Here you've got a ring off a pull tab. All right, let's try it in all metal. Kind of doubled. I don't know, I would probably dig that. It's showing up 10. I would dig that and suffer the consequences. This is every negative number you can think of, so that's that. Okay, we all know, for some of us who don't know what the bounce, the bounce test is, we're in all metal mode, watch. Here going negative, I'm checking the camera. Negative, positive. Can you see that negative value? Well, you do what you want. I don't know. I, I'm going to show you how this test can still fool you. Okay, so let's assume. Okay, it's coming up negative, right? We all hear it. Low tone. Okay. I would probably not dig this. But one thing I okay, 15, 14, 13, 12, 18. Is that a bottle cap? If it was by itself, you're darn right. Bottle caps can be anywhere from about six 
up to about three times that, about 18. How? Because it depends how much, how much corrosion has taken place uh, and what effect the mineralization of the soil has had on the bottle cap. Uh, okay, so condition and actually the composition when it was manufactured because they have different alloys in them. That just rang 38. 28. I saw 28. So, you know, you could do the dance. Here's a summary. You could do the dance around the target a couple of times, and I wouldn't hesitate to do the 360 because I don't know what you think, but I think 30, okay, 26, 20, 21. So it depends on the, on the aspect to so the coil here we've went negative. I saw 28. I dig it. Even though I see all that other crap. I mean, listen, uh, no one's in control of how this stuff is um, positioned in the dirt. You know? Everyone's favorite. And none of that stuff on the periphery is going to affect us. Ooh, I've got a women's ring. It's 18. <laughs> no, it's not. So you just don't know what you're digging. And always keep that in mind. Now, for those of you who don't know what that is, this is an aluminum screw cap, AKA Nemesis number one. I don't know of a metal detector to this day that can tell you what this really is. There is a bounce test, but it doesn't work on these only works it kind of break you hear it break up but it might be hitting the iron let's get the iron off if anything was to alert me that this is crap it's that it doesn't the signal's not consistent but you don't know and it's ringing in the range where it, where it could be it could be a men's ring even a women's ring. Uh, okay, more joy. So, there's the other half of that, right? Okay, checking the camera. That's actually a nickel. I don't know what happened to that thing, but I think basically... Um, the coating, the outer coating is coming off. Okay, I got 12. See, we got 12. I dig this. I know nickels are supposed to be 13. I'm not clueless. Okay, 13. Well, that's all I got. All right, so let's try another combo. I'm gonna come back and we're gonna do a test on a gold ring. How about that? All right, so stay tuned. All right. Hopefully the yeah. camera was straight. Anyway, this is a junk jewelry bracelet. Um, I actually, well, yeah, it's a bracelet. So let's see how it rings. You can tell it's crap because you can hear iron. Let's try, let's try the longevity. In other words, how long is this thing? You hear it on the pullback. Now this is a common test done for the XP Deuce testing for iron. Okay. Um, yeah, like I don't know that I would dig that. I didn't really know this pullback test then. So I don't think I would dig this. 
and it rings. If you're ringing on its length, 17, 18. Sounds like a great target. If you come around 90 degrees, this is why you need to come around 90 degrees, just pull a negative eight. On the pullback, garbage. Negative one. But I mean, technically a fine gold bracelet can be negative one or a gold chain. Now remember there are diamonds and other precious metals. This is a Spanish real. No, that would be a lie. This is junk iron. It is. Let's see if we can even get it to uh, wow. Negative nine, consistent. But if I was seeing that, I would just walk away. Okay. Silver first, then the gold. Nice high tone. Coming around. Because of the tripod, I'm not going to do 360 but I'm doing 270 degrees. 39, 29.30 consistent. I would dig this all day long. Gold ring. And we're gonna have lots of fun with the gold ring. This is a nightmare for anyone, what you're seeing me lay down here. This is like, I wish I was dead type of scenario, finding good targets under utter garbage. I got 17. I dig it. Okay, for those of you who say that's not enough iron on top, I'm still getting the gold ring through the iron. Y'all seeing that, right? Okay? Tell me I'm lying. Yes, I do hear iron. Who cares? If you get distracted by the iron, yeah, I, I want to thank you, first of all. And then second, I want you to let me know where you were detecting, because I'm going to go back there and, and dig up whatever you left. Yes, I'm joking. I'm a nice person. Anyway. All right, I think we made our point. Did we make our point? Yeah, I guess we made our point. Um, this could be interesting. This is a non-continuous circular object. What the hell is that? I'll show you. Now, I'm a big fan of the XP Deuce, and I think I'll probably end up getting one. This is not about the deuce, it's about the, the six and eight hundred uh, for mine lab, the Equifax, the Equifax, yes, the Equifax, Equinox. All right, this is utter garbage. This is some um, 99 cent earring. Now it's coming up, but it's coming up with crazy numbers, including zero. And zero, you want to zero is kind of like a proverbial trash can for just junk. You get zero, yeah, negative think, one. I would dig negative one. If you can repeat it around at least two or three points around the clock, negative one, I would be digging it. Because for all you know, it's a gold chain. And if you're lucky enough to be, see, 20. But my point is, is a lot of people say, oh, it's a non-continuous circular object. Like a non-continuous cir circular object would be a ring that was broken on the band. Well, this could be a ring and it's finer than a ring and you're still picking it up. All right. So if you can see me and the detector, 
Um, right now we're on part two of the fight, if you didn't hear that. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's a good detector, it really is. Uh, I'm learning more every day. Uh, for what you pay, uh, it's amazing. Um, I'm ex military, so I got the military deal from Mind Lab. If you are military, uh, and chamber uh, is 15%, I would be running to get one. Okay, um, if you want some advice where to buy, uh, let me know. I know some good places to buy where they know what they're talking about and are not going to steer you wrong or take you down a road you don't want to go. Um, I am Army. I'll always be Army. <laughs> and um, I miss it. So, uh, anyway, um, I never thought I'd say that, but I do. Um, We'll be making a lot of videos. This is just the beginning. And uh, in the next installment of How Does This Compare, we're gonna do 15 inch, the 15 inch coil for this. And uh, that's another party unto itself. Okay, more later.